All right, so here with Veron Haynes and his son, Justice Haynes. Uh, Justice, Veron, how you doing today? Doing very well. How about yourself? Doing good. Doing great, doing great. How's everything been for you guys during the crazy time of the coronavirus at your household? <laughs> uh, it's been fine. We're still working out, still doing everything in the gym downstairs. Getting used to this new normal, right? Uh, it's different, but nonetheless... It's going back to the old school way we used to do things, figuring it out. No doubt, no doubt. Uh, definitely definitely a lot more family time together. That's that's for Absolutely. sure, right? Absolutely. Which is not a bad thing sometimes, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Except <laughs> whenever you got siblings siblings, they want to kill themselves. They want to kill oh. each other. <laughs> yeah. Listen, I got a I've got a four year old and a two year old and they are ready to see other kids. I'm I can yeah. promise you. That's so, right. Uh, right. But anyways, uh, you know, we were talking about getting this thing set up this weekend. And uh, Justice, you were actually, when I was talking to your dad, he was actually at a baseball tournament with you. So two sport guy. Uh, talk to me a little bit about about that, you know, being playing multiple sports, especially for a school like a Blessed Trinity. Do you feel like that overall kind of helps you one way or another? Uh, yes, sir. Because I think I, I, when I play two sports, I have time to like rest off of one. So I think it gets me like I use different muscles during each sport. So I don't overwork. So I feel like that's good. Absolutely. That's great. And uh, and Veron, you know, which one are you more nervous watching him, baseball or football? <laughs> I tell you what, if you ever come to a game, whether it's baseball or football, and my girls play volleyball, I'm always in – on the furthest end of the spectrum and I'm away from everybody because that's exactly right. I'm nervous. I'm going through, I call it the adult section. I'm like biting my nails and stuff like that. Uh, and, and both is, is, is extremely exciting, but I am definitely nervous during the football. <laughs> I get you. A lot more contact taking place during the football. Absolutely. Absolutely. Right. Well, uh, ju Justice, you know, in terms of baseball and football, um, you know, what are I know you said you like to use, you know, it uses different muscle groups and things like that. But, uh, you know, just talk to us from a perspective of being a two sport guy. What are some of the things you like about each one of the different sports that you play? Uh, baseball, I just love it. It's just the game. And then I love the game, love everything about it. Football, same thing. Football. You get more, you don't play as many games. You get more pumped up for, like, the games. But baseball, it's a consistent playing, going out there with your brothers and just balling out. Absolutely. Now, in, in terms of the, the two-sport deal, is that a the thing where you think down the line you may have to make a decision or you maybe possibly might want to try to play both in college? Or what's your, what's your plans with all that? As of right now, I want to play both. And I've talked to every college I've talked to. I've talked to them about playing both. Absolutely, uh, Veron. You know what's your what's your thoughts on that as a dad? You know, you've been a college football player yourself. You know how tough it is to just do one in, in college. What would it be like uh, playing multiple? It's, I'll tell you what, Blaine. It's it's exciting to watch right now, and you know I think whenever it all settles, the dust settles, it'll all fall, all fall where they may, and he. He, he's exciting to watch in both sports, and I think the one thing that is 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 definitely a compliment to him is he's able to excel in both of them. So, with that being said, let them play as as long as possible. You know, uh, back in our days, I played basketball, football, track, soccer, whatever season was in. That's what I played. So I think. <clears throat> not to knock anybody who specializes in just one sport, but, you know, I think it it, it, it it opens up a different avenue whenever you're able to play multiple sports. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, being a Georgia alumni, I got to do a little bit of research on Justice's baseball team. I think they sport the name of the Georgia Jackets. How does that, how does that make you feel? He's wearing that Georgia Tech yellow, yellow and blue and all that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely, man. I uh, I had to wash some shorts the other day. I almost, he lucky he got them back. I almost burnt them. No, 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 no. It's exciting, man. Uh, 
they 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 run a really solid program. Coach Jeff is 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 class act. He 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 brings it every day to these kids and challenges them in s- exceptional ways. That's that's great to hear. Um, you know, Justice, in terms of uh, you know, the football side of things, obviously you come from you know a great football background with your dad, and then now you um, are at a tremendous school, a powerhouse in the state of Georgia and Blessed Trinity with, you know, great running backs that have come before you, like Steel Chambers, Elijah Green, and now you're kind of the next in line to kind of take over that that mantle and play for a great coach like Tim McFarlane. Um, just talk to us what it's like being part of that program and kind of the, the expectations, I guess, you have now on you following those type of guys. It's a great, it's great to play in the program. Um, it's a brotherhood, it's a true brotherhood. You learn a lot. I've matured a lot from coming from Alpharetta to BT. Uh, just the guys are great. It's all about brotherly love. And it's we might not be the most talented when we play a team, but we're going to find a way and we're going to scrap and we're going to find a way to win. And we always find a way. So I, I think this is great. I think you got quite a you got a good bit of talent though. The, yeah, <laughs> the talent yeah, is doing do, just but, fine over there at BT. Um, yeah, we played some talented teams though. I, absolutely, absolutely. You guys are doing doing a great job. Uh, you know what's you know with Coach McFarland, um, kind of a a no nonsense type guy in between the lines, but a guy that cares a lot about his players. You know, off the field, I I, I know Coach McFarland uh, pretty well. Um, does that kind of give you – does having a coach like that kind of give you some insight of maybe what you would look for in a head coach? And this is directed at both of you guys. Does does uh, Coach McFarlane and your relationship with him kind of help you uh, get prepared for what Justice may see, you know, in college? Absolutely. You know, one of my best friends and his godfather, actually, Jermaine Phillips, a former Bulldog, played for Coach Mack. Can we call him Coach Mack Tim uh, in high school? And – he was a no-nonsense kind of guy, but loves, genuinely loves every single individual out there. And that's just the person he is. I love the fact that his program is always catered to the locker room. And what I mean by that is he allows the seniors and 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 seniors, the juniors, the upperclassmen run and dictate how things are perceived and transition on the field. So you got to, he, 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 he doesn't have to overstep his boundaries. And when uh, a coach that used to do that to me was uh, coach, <clears throat> coach Bill Cower was the same kind. He had the same philosophy, Jerome, and he expected the veterans to kind of lead the way. So it, it was more so hands off. Once you understood what he was trying to get to general idea, what he was trying to get out of everything. He let the seniors lead and everybody else follow the veteran leadership. And that's how he runs his program. And I think that transitions on into college and thereafter, God willing. Absolutely. Justice, you know, what's it what's it like day in and day out with Coach McFarland and, and you know, a guy that's won a lot and uh, that you get to learn from every day? he will call me into my I'll talk to him about probably every day we'll just talk about life like it's not always about football like they'll help me out whatever whatever I need to like help with whether it's school whether it's like friends whether it's relationships anything like he's always there for me he always wants to talk he always wants uh, to get closer to me and just wants me to be a leader this year and step into my role well, that's that's great. Uh, like I said, I, I've I've known uh, Coach Farland, and I I know everything you're saying to to definitely be true. He's a he's a guy that really cares for his players, so that's that's fantastic. Um, does that kind of shape in your mind what you may be looking for at the next level in terms of a coaching staff? Like, what 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 is going to be the driving factors for you as you kind of go throughout this recruiting process, Justice? Uh, I feel like whatever coach I connect to the most with. Like Coach Mac, yes, I would like a coach like that in the future because he's always there. Um, I could talk to him about anything. Um, he wants a he wants a relationship. He really strives on that, and he's really big on that. And so yeah, I would like a coach like that. Uh, Veron, as a as a father, you know, so I know that you. I saw 
post you put on Twitter the other day about what a what a blessing and joy it is to be a be a father to your to your children. Um, as a father and a former player, what do you look for? You know, next level. Okay, here's the the boxes we'd like to see checked going forward. Yeah. Well, first and foremost, right? You you have to. This transition is difficult in itself. So you do want to be able to. When I dropped him off at, at at Blessed Trinity and I talked to Coach Mack, I said, now he's yours, you know, and, and, and that's the same kind of relationship I would hope to encounter at the next level with the with the with the collegiate coach that he goes to. Um, straight, no nonsense, because this is your this is your your son that you're handing over to him for the next four years. So respect levels got to be there. Right. And you, you you really want to make sure ensure that he gets a great education. Right. And 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 and, and that, uh, you know, it's going to be tough at times, but where you're going to be seeing him more so than I am on a day to day basis. So the stuff that kids go through, the, the challenges, the mental hurdles that they have in that experience in college already in itself is a lot. So just being able to have a coach that understands that. And, and has been there and, and has dealt with that in the past and has a high graduation level as well. Because mom will kick him in the butt. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Justice, I'm, I'm, I'm picking up that grades are important at the Haynes household. <laughs> so, uh, well, you know, having said that, man, you know, obviously you've got some some tremendous opportunities already that have been laid out before you and you're not even, you know, into your sophomore year yet. So um, just in terms of, you know, I know everybody probably asks you all the time, you know, your dad played at UGA. Uh, how does how do you, how is that being a, a, a legacy type guy? You know, everybody's probably expecting, OK, you is going to come after Justice uh, Haynes hard, especially after the great freshman year, 1700 yards. So what's it like, you know, having all this success early and then, of course, the, the legacy of your dad, you know, being there? Uh, it's great. I feel like Georgia's like home to me because I've been I've grew up there. I've been there countless times. I love going up to Athens. I've been there. I love when I had a visit there. I love that the atmosphere there. I love Coach McGee. I talked to him a good amount. And so I love the coaches there. It's great. Absolutely. How many times have you seen the David Green to Veron Haynes hobnail boot play in your life? Just approximately. <laughs> I've seen it a lot. We actually have a picture downstairs of it in the late room. What amounts to a 4 4 fake? And there's a touchdown! Touchdown, my God, a touchdown! We threw it to, we threw it to Haynes! We just stepped it with five seconds left! My God almighty, did you see what he did? David Green just straightened up, and we snuck the fullback over. Haynes is keeping the ball. Haynes has come running all the way across to the bench. We just dumped it over. It's 26 to 24. We just stepped on their face with a hobnail boot and broke their nose. We just crushed their face. We dumped it over. My dad has a picture of it in his house, too. So there you go. Uh, so, but, uh, Veron, you know, what's it like for you? Uh, just the fact that, you know, you were a bulldog and now to have Georgia, you know, interested in your son, especially at such a young age, uh, you know, just, that's got to make you have pride. And I know you don't want to force him one way or another, but it's still got to be a proud thing as a dad. It is. It, it's, it's a tremendous, tremendously proud moment. Uh, just watching him fulfill and coming to his manhood and his role. He writes down his goals every day and every week for that matter. And seeing seeing the maturity of him accomplish them. And, you know, when when he falls short, sometimes going back at it, uh, dusting himself off and getting back up into that ring. It, it, it's, it's definitely a great honor and, and a sight to see having the fact that not just Georgia, but a lot of colleges interested in him at this level. Uh, it's just so <laughs> like mind boggling to me because our process started a lot later. You know, I didn't start getting re recruited until my 11th grade year. So seeing this so early is definitely something new. 
and 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 it, and, it, and it's overwhelming at times. So I just try to you know motivate him the best way I can and give him some advice and just spare him in the right direction. Hopefully he's taking that that advice and 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 is going to make sound decisions here moving forward in the process. Absolutely. And um, you know, in terms of just as you go as you go throughout everything and you're you're picking out you know seeing all these schools and stuff you talked about goals though you're only a you've only got you've got three years left so justice for you what are some things uh both short term maybe this year as a sophomore and throughout the rest of high school at blessed trinity what are some things you're focusing on trying to improve upon and, and goals you'd like to reach um this year i'm reaching on my yards per carry, like as as on the field, yards per carry, trying to get that up, um, and then just being stepping into my leadership role, being the leader of the team, carrying that burden, and all that. But that's really my goals right now, and just becoming better, getting better every day, a little bit, one percent better, as, as I like to say, every day. You can either get better or worse, and I'm trying to get better every day. Absolutely. That's a great mindset. Uh, you know, you're fortunate to have a have a dad to kind of lean on that's been there, uh, done that. Uh, Veron, I know you're very proud of uh, of Justice and, and everything he's accomplished. And uh, we're hopefully, uh, Lord willing, and they have football this fall. We're, we'll try to get out there and uh, and see see you guys this fall cover cover one of your games. Uh, have you have you heard anything about, um, you know, what they're feeling like with GHSA and, and, and the, the football season? No, we were actually talking about it today at football, but Coach Mack said there's a chance. He said, I honestly don't know, but there's a chance, and we're going to go off of that chance. So, Absolutely. Got to be prepared. Well, uh, like we said, you know, so thankful that you guys uh, spent a little time with us here today. We're able to, um, you know, join us, and uh, we look forward to keeping up with you, Justice, uh, not only throughout this sophomore year, but as you as you go on. And uh, we really appreciate both of you being willing to share some of your time with us. Thank you. Thank you. The pleasure was all mine. You enjoy the rest of your day and uh, have a great week. That's it. Thank you, guys, and uh, God bless y'all. Have a good one. God bless you.